Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a um, Q&A video about the difference between Prismacolor Premier pencils and Faber-Castell's Polychromos pencils. And once I've gone through the differences, I want to explain to you why they work so well together. Um, my main tools for drawing are these two pencils together. I always use them together and it just it gives me the best results. So I'm just going to explain to you guys how and why that all works. So on the left side over here I have a demonstration of a few things I'm going to go through with Prismacolor and on the right side over here I have a few things I'm going to go through with the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. So the first thing I want to talk about is that none of these pencils are soluble. They are both non-soluble which means that they don't do very well with water. Water does not blend in with it. Water um, parts with it. So I'm sure you can imagine if you have to mix water and oil that they do not mix and if you had to put water on top of wax it's the same thing. They just do not go together. So if I had to try and blend the pencil with water it wouldn't do anything. It's just gonna... I have put water on top of these and it just it does nothing. It just dries <laughs> eventually. So um, you can still see the texture through the paper. It's not blended and it's just it doesn't do anything to the pencils it kind of just sits on the top of it so the second thing that we're going to look at is wax bloom prisma colors if you layer a lot with them um, they do have a wax bloom to them and the polychromos um, oil based pencils don't have a wax bloom they have the slightest bloom but you can hardly notice them i'm going to try and move this paper around I'll zoom in actually and then you can try and see while I move the paper you will be able to see the pencil strokes or the wax bloom on this one which is the Prismacolor one but you don't see much of a wax bloom on this one you see a slight bloom but not not too much so I hope you guys can see that <laughs> um, the third thing is that Prisma colors have quite a soft core so they do not hold a sharp point for long but the polychromos have a very hard core so they hold a sharp point for a lot longer so I have my two pencils here and I've sharpened them the same um, I'm very surprised that I got to sharpen my Prisma color this sharp because it doesn't it breaks it breaks a lot that is a quality problem with Prisma color is that a lot of them have a lot of issues with breakage and some of them are so bad that the core just falls right out of the, pe the pencil or you just have to drop it once and the entire thing breaks right through. So it is a problem with Prismas is that the, some of the pencils are just so bad that you can't even use them. Um, and at least you don't have that problem with the Polychromos pencils. They are a very great quality pencil. Anyways, I'm just going to draw a couple of lines here to see how long it holds a sharp point. Well, there you go. That sharp point just breaks off of it. And the Prismas hold that sharp point for much longer. And they don't break. So, I don't know if you can see. That point just broke off, but it doesn't hold a sharp point for long whereas the polychromos really do so that's what I love about them so the reason that's very helpful is that if you need to do larger areas you probably use your prisma color but if you need to do real fine detail areas you probably use your polychromos because it will hold a sharp enough point to be able to get those details um, the next thing I did notice with you know the amount of time that I've been using my prismas and my polys is that the prismas seem to be more pigmented than the polychromos they have a brighter color um, most of the time especially when you blend them with solvent that color just pops out and the prismas aren't that pigmented um, uh, the polychromos pencils aren't as pigmented as the prisma colors but some of them you can barely even tell the difference like right here you can't really tell the difference between how bright the one is to the other one um, yeah so but it does work very well together and then another thing is what's wonderful about Prismacolor is that they are um, 
opaque enough for you to layer light colors over dark colors. So that's just what I've demonstrated here is they are opaque and I have white over the dark right here and I have the polychromos white over the dark right here and you can't really see the polychromos white over it. It's too translucent to be able to give a light enough layer on top of a dark layer. But I'll just show you here. So this is my Prismacolor white and this is a dark layer and I am just going to scribble some white lines on there. So you can see how the white goes on top of the dark color. Whereas the white for the polychromos, um, I'm going to do the same thing. It's not as pigmented as that. And if I had to have another layer on here, you probably wouldn't see the white at all. Like over here, I'm going to try and enhance that white as much as I can. And then this one just takes it real easy. The Prismacolor's got no problem with putting the white over the top. But if there's a few more layers, then you're not going to see the white over the top of the um, dark layers with the polychromos. So that is the main differences between the two. So one holds a sharper point and can add more detail. The other one is more pigmented. Um, one doesn't have a wax bloom and... One has a wider color, color range, so the Prismas come in a, a big set of 150 colors. The Polychromos only come in 120 colors, so you've got a great amount of colors that you can use together. Both of them blend with a solvent, so you can mix them together as much as you like. And then as a, file la a final layer, if you need to add any highlights or anything, you can use your Prismacolor's lighter colors to add those highlights because it is so opaque, which you cannot do that with the Polychromos. So there's pros and cons to both, but when you put them both together, both their strengths kind of work each other out. So that's what's so great about having both these types of pencils together. That was a very quick demonstration. I hope that it was useful um, so that you guys can see why I like to use these two colors together. Wax and oil just go very, very well together when it comes to pencils. I'm not sure about other wax and oil brands. I'm yet to do reviews on a couple of other brands and I will be doing that for you. But um, for now, what I've mainly been using the past two, three years is my Prisma colors along with my Polychromos pencils and the two of them just work beautifully together. I love them and I don't really want to change it. That's the way I want to be able to do my drawings. But I'll still um, do reviews on cheaper brands and other brands to see if the, the wax and the oil work together in the same kind of way so that you guys will know. So I thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>